Hi, I'm Brian Casson, and we are putting this 1947 Manor on the market. Uh, right now, today, the way it sits here, the way you're looking at it, with the exception of the steps and the fairing over the stove vent, I'll be removing those, and I'll be removing the interior because the interior is pretty nice and installing it into this 47, uh, 48 Spartan there. But the way you see it here uh, with that original propane tank, those are really cool, and that's as solid as can be, along with a slump dolly that you can see under it. That's all going with the trailer. This trailer is a Colorado, New Mexico trailer, nice dry country. Nice frame under it. Uh, it's just a matter of sandblasting and painting. You don't have to be welding the whole frame together, as in some cases. The body on this is nice and straight. Uh, the rubber rails are fair to okay. Uh, they need a little attention. There is one corner rubber rail that has some rips in it that isn't repairable but the others are for sure my intentions are to do uh, uh just the grime polish on this just to get the the old stuff off it will look very similar to the trailer that you see right next to it it'll still have the swell marks and everything on it but it'll be shiny and clean uh, we do have all of the lights for it uh, i have the, the one uh Corner marker up there, and then all the rest of the lights are right here. There's one lens in the back missing, and, and that's the missing one right there. I'll be installing those, and they'll all be working, so you'll be able to tow the trailer uh, and with all of the lights working. But as you can see, it's it's a straight body. Uh, it's not all dented up. The, the uh, lower skirt on it. Has some damage here and there, and I will be repairing those uh, the best I can. They'll look okay. The uh, the only damage on the body, the, the worst damage on the whole body, really, is that ridge that you see right there uh, behind the rub rails. I'll be able to knock both most of that out from inside, uh, and then when I polish it, it I don't think it'll be real noticeable. But that's the worst part of, of the whole trailer right there. I will be making a skirt for this, although it won't have the rub rail on it. It has the skirt on the other side. Now, this trailer does have some hail damage uh, on the top. The sides are pretty darn nice. Uh, and the hail damage is really uh, mostly in the very center. Uh, the sides of the roof, uh, you know, don't really show a whole lot at all. It still has uh, uh, one of the vents there with all of the working mechanism. The front vent has the working mechanism, although the cap isn't on it. I do have one of those to put on. And then the center uh, vent doesn't have the cap or the mechanism, but I'm going to be taking the one off of the trailer next to it, which is a 48 crank up type. It's not exactly the same as what's in this trailer, but nobody would notice and they fit. Now, somebody way back when put these ugly lights in here, I'll be taking those out and replacing them with a square patch or triangular patch with as close to matching rivets, rivets that I can get. And when I get it on, it'll be all polished and everything. And only you will know that there's something that's been done there. You can see the lower skirt there is in bad shape. That's a very easy repair. I'll be putting a new one of those on. The one tail light lens I mentioned that's missing goes right there. Still has the back window on it. Uh, it, it, it even has the screen. Huh. It even still has the lock on there. I, I suspect that lock will probably be going. But you can, as you can see, everything 
it works. The uh, that's the nice part about dry country trailers. You just don't get rust like you do in in uh, the uh, wet states. The step, as you as I mentioned, uh, will be going. That fairing up there that you see over the heater vent, I will be removing that. And of course, putting a patch over that hole. The heater hole already has a, a vent on it, so won't be doing much there. But you can see, you see all these sweeps and stuff. All that stuff comes right off. Um, just as in this trailer here, you see it's, rusty and and from the screen and whatnot all that stuff just compounds off this was done a few years ago uh that white stripe you see there's just a soapy mark but it'll the, the i have brake parts that i'll be putting on there and uh, getting them to work the best i can the tires will be uh very very much uh, towable tires uh, the, the trailer should look pretty nice once it's all polished in the front tank and hitch painted and whatnot. I, I think it'll look pretty good. When I'm all done, the trailer will be in the 65-7 range. Today, before I touch it, it's 4. So if you happen to call any time between, it depends on how much work would have been done by that time. At any rate, thanks for watching if you're interested. My number, 970-302-9137. Thank you much. Thanks for watching.